12 and a half, get you a quarterback. I got them shits flying like spirals. I like my true fun sensor. That was a great segment as well. We also got going on. We got to talk about the uh, Monique. Um, yeah. Speaking on Stephen Harvey. Well, we all know Monique was legendary. Um, on, not legendary, but she was on Steve Harvey's show. Got a lot of views, got a lot of attention. We talked about it on this podcast. She um, had comments towards Steve Harvey and his latest release to NBC. Now, we talked about it a couple of days ago. Steve Harvey was released from his show, Steve, and the show with the young children replaced out of his contract, said it was a blessing in disguise. Everyone, a lot of people got on him. We didn't get on him, but we we did what we do. Mm-hmm. Monique has something to say. I want to drop a little bit of what she had to say, and then we'll talk about it, man. Mm-hmm. I want to kick it off. Kick it off, okay? And the reason why I want to kick it off is because some of the memes and tags I've been getting has been almost celebratory. Almost. Well, have been celebratory. When well, people say, that's what his ass get. Yeah, yeah, Mo. See, let me be clear about something. Let us be clear about something. We do not celebrate what appears to be someone else's demise. We do not stand and applaud and say, yeah, look what's happening. That's what you get. That's not where we're coming from. That's not the stance we've ever taken. So what I would ask y'all to do is we got to love our folks through it. We got to love them through it. And I know some people would say, yeah, Monique is crazy because one minute she's saying they didn't do it right, the next minute she's saying love them through it. Let me tell you exactly what we're saying. Tell them, Steve Harvey, I've, I've considered him my friend. Now, maybe he didn't consider me his friend, but I've always considered him my friend. And that's my friend. When we came out and said what was going on, it wasn't to put my friend down. It was to say this is what it is. This is what's happening. And you've often referred to him as your brother. As my brother. When it comes to Brother Lee Daniels. All right, oh God, I'm going to stop it right there. Talking about Steve Harvey, yeah. keeping it in the context. Basically off the sentiments that we kind of shared. Yeah. What's your thoughts on that, though? I disagree. Um, oh, shit. With that. Remember on Boys in the Hood or whatever, Furious Styles, he had his son there. And he was like, man, only respect people, you know what I mean, if they respect you. Mm-hmm. So not to say that uh, Steve really disrespected her, but... That whole thing about, yeah, we got to, you know, not to say we gonna, anybody wants to celebrate what appears to be his demise, but I don't think that we have to run to everybody's aid either when they're going through something and give them maybe, you know, and give them um, words of encouragement when they're going through what they're going through, especially if they wouldn't do it for you. I think those, those days, you know, regardless or whatever, those days should be over. You know what I mean? Um, so that that's the part that I do disagree about, but I expect Monique to take the high road in that regard. Um, but I, I, you know, I, I just don't agree with that all the time, you know, situations like that. Sometimes I think you just, you know, some people go through stuff for a reason and Steve may have been going through that for a reason. He says it's a blessing in disguise, but who wants to be kicked off their own show in I mean, prime time like that? You yeah, know what no, I'm saying? I, I would have to agree with that, that argument a hundred percent. I would have to disagree with you when it came to the taking a high road though. And even though, I mean, this was what we watched a minute and a half. Her show was an hour. Okay, so okay. we don't know how in depth she went and right. things like that. But with all right. that being said, on on what we did here, and her just saying that, I mean, she wasn't celebratory in it. I can hear where she's coming from. Now I know she she was basically in my 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 view saying that mm-hmm. she didn't want to take anything away from his pockets, even though he might have been still on some fuck shit. Like I never wanted to take away money from you, brother. I understand that you got to where you were doing what you had to do to get the amount of money that you're getting. And even though you dogged me out on your show, mm-hmm. I still would not want to take money away from you. I'm not mad at that. That's something right. that I could see me doing, taking the high road, even though I'm still throwing jabs. I'm not mad at right. that. Um, I 100% agree with you, though, in the frustration and always having to take the fucking high road. Right. Like, I understand that it's the the moral thing to do. And it's not even ego involved. But like you said in the, the um example that you gave, you got to respect somebody that respects you. Yeah. And when does it come to a certain point if somebody continues to spit in their face and you still extending your hand? Now, eventually, you either spit back or you pop them in the face with something to tell them to stop. Let yeah. them know it's over. It's only, it's only so long somebody can continue to disrespect and, you know what I mean, run you into the ground. If you say, no, I forget this, man, I got to stand up and do something. Hmm. You know what I mean? So um, I'm not celebrating, you know, Steve Harvey, you know, l- losing his jobs or whatnot like that. But, you know, um, I think some people get served up what they deserve. 
at certain times. You know what I mean? And it doesn't always pay, you know, um, to shuck and jive. You know what I mean? In certain positions, you know. Um, and, and remember, because he was always telling her, like, sometimes you gotta do this to get this and to get that. And she said a lot of people was hitting her up, like, that's what he get. I get it. Because a lot of black people feel like Steve Harvey didn't use his voice to project to uh, project the right image of black people at certain times. He may have went on the buck dancing side of what people call it and whatnot. So people are going to love to see people like that. What appears to be them being moved out of certain positions when they use that position, in their opinion, not to further the cause. You know what I mean? He, you said, you know, that he pretty much um, talked about Monique and countless other people. I don't really watch the show, but we've seen the clips and whatnot of Steve Harvey just kind of just taking, you know, the other side of things that you make him look at, look at him sideways. So, yeah, definitely, man. Oh, God, let me ask you this, man, because, I mean, I guess the general thought and the general, um, I guess, I, I don't know the word I'm looking for, but is that he got kicked out. Let me see, fired him. Do you see a situation where he was like, nah, I don't like this, and I walked out? Do you see him with that kind of control? And we're all kind of just misleading and looking into things the wrong way. And this is kind of quit, maybe you think? I'm just asking the question. Is it is it too uh, far fetched to think that he said, you know what, I'm walking off of these shows? Walking off of Steve. I mean, he looked like he was having a grand old fucking time yeah, on these shows. Definitely. That's he what I'm saying. But you never know what so. happens behind the scenes and right. whatnot. And you know, the people you gotta work with, the staff. So I you know, I don't want to get into the position. All I gotta go off is what I seen with Steve. You know what I mean? I can't just go off assumptions and whatnot. I just kind of thought the guy as time went on, kind of wore it, not to say that he was ever this guy like that we, you know, think, but I think he just kind of watered himself down to the point where he made himself acceptable, you know, um, for mainstream audiences, sort of like Kevin Hart. And I don't like that when people whoa, do that. Whoa, whoa. So you, you know comparing saying? Steve Harvey to Kevin Hart right now? No, no, I'm just saying watering, the watering yourself, down. The watering down. Comedy. Right, You right, know who I would compare point. Steve to? Right. Who's reminding me of? Our man, Stephen A. And yeah, damn. Love. <laughs> love them both. Right. Love Steve Harvey. Love Stephen A. And I, I still got a, so much of a high respect for Stephen A. I can still def, watch him def. on first take. And, and weed out the nonsense and listen to the brother speaking. I look up to him. I'm like, man, yeah. I, I, and we're, we're, what you do, what you do, I respect you in the highest regard. But there's a certain level of watering down that you just cannot deny over the years. We've watched you. Yeah. And it, We've it, seen you write. You read your writings. Writings. Yeah. It's bothersome because we know, and I, oh, I have the feeling behind the scenes, he's speaking the way we speak. He's still moving the way we move. But when he gets behind those doors, he has to just put it on so much. <laughs> And thinking that's the way, not thinking that Stephen A. Smith could be taking off that ten o'clock slot too. And that's no disrespect. He that's can. just the, that's just. The they can find another brother somewhere out of college coming up who may not be quite him, but they will make him Steve. You know what I mean? They'll mm -hmm. find a replacement. You know, for anybody, don't ever think that you're ex or not expendable when you're working for these big corporations, man. And um, that's why we always um just preach independence, even though we know sometimes you have to jump in and do little partnerships with people and different things or, yeah. you know, to get your bag, like, you know, do a show. That's cool. If somebody said, you know, uh, Fox or ABC wanted to make your thing a show, you're going to go do that and get that money. You know what I mean? So I'm not knocking nobody from, from taking opportunities, but when it comes in where you have to take your message now, when you get on camera, you say, look, well, I can't really say this because these people right here that's funding this don't want me to say it. Then you're back in a situation where, okay, now this is like a job again, or you know what I mean? the s word but yeah i mean and, and this is we all know it's a certain level of struggle when you're doing this brick and mortar and you're building it by yourself and your hand by hand brick by brick but there is no better reward than to get when you start receiving blessings from the hard work you put in on yes, sir. and yeah there's a there's a lot of there's a huge bag out here but what does that bag come with what's that price tag on that bag mm, and i would never one. give my soul for a bag that will never be on the price ticket. Right. And not to say that people have sold their soul or anything, but there's even certain levels that I'm just like, mm, nah, I'm mm -hmm. cool. And I always want to be able to have that advantage, even though doing it brick and mortar may not take me to the level, even though I have, uh, I completely deny that because there's certain levels y'all ain't even ready for yet. Right. But I'd rather do it the hard way. If it took me longer, then fuck it, let it take us longer. But right. I, I'd, I'd rather receive it. And we've been on the other side, spent most of our life on the other side. And the taste it put in our mouths, it just wasn't for us. It's sweeter over here. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. That's all I got. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Definitely, man. But yeah, man, you tuned into the un 
Sense of Truth podcast with your brother, Oh God and Sam, man, going in today. I want everybody to tune in tomorrow night. If you want to catch us live, we will be live at 8 p.m. Eastern Standard Time on Friday, each and every Friday on YouTube on the Uncensored Truth podcast channel. Make sure that y'all check us out there tomorrow um, night. Um, I think that's all I have over here as well, Sam, man, on this side, man, explosive show. Like I said, we'll be back. All Tuned into the greatest Motherfucker, you ain't never lie If them people watching us like YouTube Then tell them motherfuckers 